Hi, thank you, Selena. Going back to yesterday's protests, it started out peaceful like tonight's, but it ended a lot differently. El Paso police officers say two officers were hurt in yesterday's protest. It started at Memorial Park. Demonstrators held a moment of silence and marched to El Paso police headquarters. About 8 p.m., the police department said officers were assaulted and some in the crowd threw bottles. One man who was there says the vast majority of protesters behaved. 99% of the, the people that were there were there to protest peacefully. But there is no way to control that 1% or that 0.01% of people that may have been there to just uh, voice their or unleash their anger and try to create chaos. EPPD says officers only use tear gas and bean bags. Added they arrested three people, though not related to the alleged assaults on officers. I'm back everyone up and they shoved a black girl into the concrete wall with a riot shield. She went head first into the concrete wall. We also reached out to EPPD about this. Guillermo Casimiro posted this video on social media. He claims aside from shoving a young woman, officers also hit him with a baton on the head and his shoulders and later deployed tear gas. Only tonight, the police department got back to us about the tear gas, a statement reading, quote, tear gas is that a gas that can envelop a large area and is directional. Anyone in the surrounding area can and will be affected by it to a certain degree. Some people may be more sensitive to it than others. If a person was present, failed to disperse and engaged officers in a confrontation, then they felt the effects of the gas.